You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Hey yo, what the fuck? Funkoville is revealed to be taking place at SDCC. The Rita Repulsa Funko Pop is revealed to be an exclusive at SDCC. There's something familiar about this Rita Repulsa, and that's because there's an already available Rita Repulsa that came out in 2018 as part of the 25th anniversary set. Looking at both figures side to side, there's only minor differences like skin tone, posture, magic wand placement, and a few other details, but not enough to tell the difference from afar. The length of time it takes for Funko Pops to be made from requiring the license to selling to customers is four to six months. The sort of life of the beginning to the shelf is everywhere from four months to six months. Since Funko already has the Power Ranger license and the molds from the previous Power Ranger Funko Pops, the turnaround time should be less than the four to six month timeline. Even given the four to six month timeline, Funko had time to make 30th Anniversary Funko Pops. If SDCC was the deadline to announce 30th Anniversary Pops, Once and Always was publicly announced to be in production in September 2022. That's 10 months to prepare. The Once and Always poster revealing Robo Rita was revealed in March 2023. That's 4 months to prepare. There was even a fan-made mock-up of Robo Rita utilizing the 2018 Rita body mold and a robot face mold from another Funko Pop. The Once and Always trailer fully showing Robo Rita was revealed in in March 2023. That's still four months to prepare. The Once and Always special premiered in April 2023. That's still three months to prepare. Many fans were confused as to why a re-release of a five-year-old Funko Pop would be presented as an exclusive at SDCC 2023. Looking at the packaging, you'll see that there's no 30th anniversary or Once and Always branding. Looking at the previous anniversary Funko Pops, you'll see that the 20th anniversary Pops have no anniversary branding on the front, but there is on the back. The 25th anniversary anniversary pops have no graphical anniversary branding, but instead there's a physical sticker with the 25th anniversary branding on the front. On the back of both the anniversary pops, there's pictures of other pops in the line. Seeing how there's no 30th anniversary or once and always branding on the box, it's possible that this Rita Repulsa Funko Pop really is just a SDCC exclusive that is not part of the 30th anniversary or once and always line. There's been multiple listings for 30th anniversary pops that date back to January 2023, but some listings things have been taken down while others are still up. The alleged ship date is September 2023 which coincides with the newly announced PulseCon 2023, which takes place September 22nd, so it's likely that 30th Anniversary Pops will be announced then and put on pre-order or sale during or after the event. While there's currently no leaks of the 30th Anniversary Pops, there's some leaks from 2018 that haven't been turned into actual Pops yet. Here are some potential characters that can be made into Want to Know These Pops. Because of the lack of anniversary branding, there's hope that this figure is not connected to the 30th anniversary pops that fans are expecting to see. Funkle still holds the license to produce and or sell Power Ranger pops. Even if unintentional, the announcement of this pop being an exclusive for a major event like SDCC concerned fans because this Rita is essentially a re-release of a 5-year-old figure. At face value, it seems like Hasbro once again fumbled putting out once and always figures. Hasbro could be saving new Funko pop releases for Pulsecon. On 2023, therefore leaving Funko to re-release an old figure just so Power Rangers could have a presence during Funkoville. Re-releasing a pre-existing figure with minor tweaks is a way to sell the same figure twice. I was initially pissed at this announcement, but upon further inspection, it could be more to the story. So I will reserve judgment until further notice. Will I buy? Nah. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from the Grid, and until next time, have a good one. <laughs>